guys, so today we are going to show you how to make the kale soup, which is the first recipe in our plant-based workbook. If you haven't gotten the workbook already, just click the link below to download. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button because you will see weekly videos of recipes, how-tos, DIYs, and family fun. This is The Daily Craze. It always taste what you're cooking. Yep. For this recipe, you will need one bushel of kale, one can of white kidney beans, four potatoes, one bag of Gardein meatless crumbles, eight ounces of veggie broth, tomatoes, one white onion, thyme, vegan butter or olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic minced, and for extra hardiness, you can add mushrooms to your soup as well. All right, so the recipe calls for four potatoes cubed. However, make reasonable modifications. These little guys are kind of small, so we just added a few more to make it a decent amount of potatoes. No, the knife is pretty good. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now you're going to chop up your onion. I have a knife in my hand, don't be being weird. First step, <clears throat> add the potatoes to your broth. Potatoes in, because it's gonna take a second to cook these boys. Yeah. So you, that's the very first thing you want because what you don't want to happen is you're waiting on the potatoes to cook while yeah, everything else is ready. Definitely. That's the worst thing. That's the worst possible outcome. All right. After you've added the potatoes, you're going to add a little bit of thyme to the broth. Thyme and the seasoning. Extra good uh, seasoning too. Yeah. I put salt. Salt and pepper. So after a little bit, you're going to then add olive oil to a pan until hot and add your onion half of your onion <clears throat> to a skillet, to the skillet, and then the other half to the broth. I'm gonna add your bag of Gardein beefless crumbles to your onions and olive oil. Make sure you season it, a little salt, a little pepper. A little salt, a little pepper. A little salt, a little pepper. So uh, normally what we would do is we would cook the kale on a skillet for a little bit and then place it into the broth. But because we have this, we can just go ahead and cook it all the way in this pot and then add to the broth once we're ready to eat it. We got beans! Obviously it would be best to use like a dry bean, soak them, make, you know, everything, but we don't use a white kidney bean very often, so a canned bean is the way to go for us. Probably less healthy, but Obviously you strain this stuff out, rinse them off really well, make a made one like that, so. Nice. There we go. And you go into the into the soup. Kale is being added to the soup. And and if you can see on that garden, that's that's like the amount of crisp that you want on there. You can get it like that. Yeah. That's really gonna good. be the best way. Really tasty when it's nice and crispy. Because if you're adding it, you want it a little bit more firm than you would cook it regularly because you're gonna be uh, putting it in a soup, yeah. on the top of the soup, so. And give it a nice stir. Incorporate all the goodness. Potatoes, beans, hold on. There we go. Potatoes, beans, greens. <laughs> Put the soup contents, then the beef or meatless crumbles, then some salsa, tomatoes, top it off with some hot sauce. We like a lot of flavor, in case you couldn't tell. Hopefully you were tasting as you were going and everything is seasoned well, but if not, then go ahead and add a little salt and pepper. We have forgotten the guac. Oh. We are doing that right now. And very, very easy. Just go ahead, scoop out your avocado, place it on the cutting board. Mush, mush, mush. And then you're gonna add some green salsa, right? 
Any sauce on lime juice? And lime it's, juice. It's just a very, very basic style. I mean, yeah. you could you can go as adventurous as you want. You can even just slice it like this and put, put them it on, on top. top. Really. And Lincoln that's likes. That's not feta cheese, but yeah. that's cauliflower. I was about to say Lincoln likes cauliflower, so we made that for him for his dinner. It is not feta cheese. Does very much look like feta cheese, though. That's that cauliflower. And you can chop it up as much or as little as you want. As you can see, my hungry self could not wait. So I had a couple bites <laughs> while waiting for the avocado. Everybody can make potato soup with kale. You know, this is just another variation, but this is gonna be like a, definitely bridge the gap between like a meat eating lifestyle and like a more plant-based lifestyle with this soup, I guarantee. Like we have friends that will definitely be like, yeah, we want that, you know? And they eat like a Popeye's chicken with uh, a hamburger. <laughs> We've been eating plant-based for like a, about a year or maybe a little over a year now. Yeah. Like how long has it been? A little over a year, two, almost? What? A year and three months. A year and three months now. And I have not, had one salad. Yeah. I have literally not had one salad. We're not hating on salads, but they're definitely not something that we eat in our household and we have a plant-based diet. So one of the things is get out of the salad. It's even in the workbook. Like don't fall into the salad trap. Like plant-based living does not mean salads. You can have hearty, girthy, yummy food and it's all plant-based.